Hello and good afternoon. We are here with all the important topics right before the U.S. stock market rings the bell. United Airlines is on the cusp of a significant shift in its fleet composition. As Bloomberg reports a potential acquisition of more than three dozen Airbus A321 Neo jets. This move is seen as a strategic pivot from Boeing's uncertified MAX 10 planes, which United had initially planned to be the cornerstone of its fleet expansion. The urgency for alternatives was underscored by a mid-air emergency involving an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9, casting further doubts on the MAX 10 certification process. Despite United's interest in the A321neo, Airbus's packed order book through 2030 presents a challenge. Nonetheless, United's CEO, Scott Kirby, has expressed a firm stance against overpaying for the aircraft. This situation reflects United's attempt to navigate the complexities of fleet management amidst ongoing industry uncertainties and the critical importance of maintaining a modern, efficient fleet for competitive advantage. Nissan and Honda have announced a groundbreaking collaboration to accelerate their development of electric vehicles, EVs, and intelligent car technologies, addressing the growing global demand for sustainable transportation solutions. This partnership marks a significant strategic alignment between Japan's second and third largest automakers, aiming to pool their resources and expertise in a sector where Japanese firms have lagged behind rivals like Tesla. The non-binding agreement signifies the start of discussions on potential collaboration areas, underscoring the automotive industry's shift towards electrification amid rising environmental concerns. This move is particularly pivotal for Nissan and Honda as they strive to reclaim their footing in the rapidly evolving automotive landscape, which is increasingly dominated by electric and intelligent vehicles. Their collaboration reflects a broader industry trend of alliances and partnerships as companies seek to share the substantial costs and technical challenges associated with developing next-generation automotive technologies. Bank of America is restructuring its capital markets division with significant leadership changes, introducing a new capital markets advisory group to better navigate the volatile macroeconomic and geopolitical climate. The memo revealing these changes highlights the appointment of Greg Nobben and Mike Brown to lead this new unit, signaling a strategic refocus on advising clients amid uncertain market conditions. This restructuring comes in response to the challenging macroeconomic environment exacerbated by the U.S. Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hikes and ongoing geopolitical tensions, which have pressured markets for nearly two years. The formation of the Capital Markets Advisory Group and the reshuffling of leadership roles within Bank of America's capital markets business illustrate the firm's proactive approach to aligning its offerings with the complex needs of its clients aiming to provide nuanced, strategic advice in a period marked by significant financial turbulence. This is all we have for you today. We are Mexm TV and we will be here next week, same place, same time. Goodbye.